When I was younger, I did a lot of different things. I never took it too seriously. I never thought I would be an artist because artists don't make a living. And uh, seven years ago, I was in a situation that I needed to find a way to make a living out of nothing. So I started painting. I'm Anat Ronan, and I'm an artist in Houston, Texas. I always inserted a little bit of design here and there, even painted in my son's room. Some paintings for my friends, but it was never done for money, per se. We decided to come to America. I was working for a real estate investor and we came here under a visa and the visa is very binding so i knew immediately that i need to find myself another solution and that solution came with a special visa that is given for athletes actors uh, musicians and artists so i basically put together everything i've ever done and asked for a visa and to my great surprise got that visa and i started advertising my work you know, it's like the, the egg and, and the chicken. What came first? Uh, I don't know. We came here with three suitcases. It was our desire to stay here and live here. And we focused on, on Houston because of its size, because of its climate, because of its affordability. Israel is a beautiful place. I'm always gonna be Israeli. It's in me, but we have so many problems. In Houston, people just accept you for who you are. The diversity here is, is real. And by now I've been to a lot of countries around the world and a lot of states in, in the US painting because it's fun. I didn't go to school at all. No, no school, not for art and not for anything else. So we started to think, you know, what is it that we can maybe focus on and say, no, this is me and this is like, I really know how to do this. I never said no. I put my ad out there and whoever called me, I said yes. And I told them, you know, I'll try. Worst case scenario, we just paint over it or, or not do it. And every time I do stuff, I'm amazed and I'm, I'm definitely grateful for every day that I'm, I'm here and, and doing this and be able to, to stay here, so yeah. I like it that it can play with the surroundings the architecture, that you can actually deliver a very strong message in one image without all the clutter, without all the noise, just this and suddenly in your face, you know, you don't have to buy a ticket, you just see it in front of you. I like it that it's ever-changing, it's ever-changing, it's evolving. That's one of the things, when you, you paint on a street art piece, it's gonna be there a day, a month, a year, you, you never know, and that's fine, that's how it is. I think that's the main thing about doing large scale. You have to get into the mind of those who see it. And I'm not trying to change the world, but in my means now of being a street artist, that I can put my views out there and hope that it makes a difference. Really listen, listen to your intuition. You don't have to do things just because everybody else is doing them. Just use common sense, use your intuition and the sky's the limit, basically.